Hi, today I'm going to do another one of my in the kit videos and these are products that I use in my professional kit and that I also like to use on myself and just things that have been around for a long time and I really, really like them. So I'm going to do cream blushes today because firstly I love blush, I love using it and I love particularly cream blush because it's very versatile, you can mix it with highlighter, you can blend it in with your foundation to make it very natural looking and you can also use it on lips and sometimes eyes and you, they're very multifunction. So I'm going to start with one that I've had in my kit for I don't know how many years but a long long time and that's the Stila Convertible Colour. This comes in 16 shades, everything from shades which are good for darker skin tones to shades which would work very well on a much lighter skin tone and also lots of very poppy kind of bright shades like the bright bright oranges and the bright bright pink so lovely lovely shades it's very creamy in texture so leaves quite a dewy finish and um, it needs a bit of blending you can either apply it with fingers or use a foundation brush or even a, du uh, a duo fiber brush just to blend those edges in but it's um, it's been updated actually since it was first in my kit they have updated the formulation it used to be a little bit greasier and now it's a little bit drier but I think it's still really creamy and still really really good so the update was, was a good one. Um, another one I really like which is more of a drugstore brand is the Revlon one and this is the Photo Ready Cream Blush. Um, it only comes in four shades this one but they're four really good shades. I know I'm only holding up three because I can't find the fourth one which is usually in my kit which is the very very bright pink like super bright pink or flushed and maybe you can help me with this because I've just found out it's discontinued that color in the UK which I'm so upset about because it was the best bright bright pink for darker skin tones and olive skin tones um, so I think it's still available in other countries and I'm, I'm actually coming to New York in a couple of weeks so if you know for a fact they still sell it please let me know because I'm going to stock up on it um, when I come to New York. But the other shades are great, they're sort of a very peachy colour for a very very pale skin, sort of peaches and cream effect, very very bright coral which is beautiful on a dark skin tone or an olive skin tone and a nice kind of mid-tone berry pink shade which works on lots of different skin tones so they are really nice consistency easy to blend and nice creamy slightly dewy effect um, another one that I love um, and there's only only comes in one shade so this one is the Erin one and it's very very greasy so if you have very oily skin you won't like this but anything from normal to dry and I just find this shade is so good on light to medium skin tones and I use it more for a sort of sun-kissed effect it looks quite brownie but it can also look quite pinky and also quite um, bronzy it's one of those shades that kind of gives you like a nice sun-kissed effect and because it's quite greasy I often blend it with a brush or mix it in with a highlighter with golds or silvers and I I use it a lot on models just when I want that very very healthy natural slightly sun-kissed feel and I'll use it around the forehead across the nose onto the cheeks you know and slightly sometimes I even slightly use it as a contour so it's just a really Great shade and very, very blendable, creamy formulation and very sheer because it's so um, slippy, you can sheer it out completely. Last but not least, the Makeup Forever Cream Blushes I've always loved. They used to come in the little pump bottles like this, which I still have in my kit, which were a little bit trickier to use. Very, very intense pigment and with the pump action, you'd have to get just the right amount out and blend it. But they also have really amazing hot poured much easier to use, very sheer but still pigmented cream blushes like this and again there's 16 shades. I'm wearing this shade today and I think with all cream blushes you apply it how you like to. I like to apply it while I, just right after I've done my foundation and I use fingers and I think the heat of your finger works so well with cream blush because you're able to get that real synergy with the skin. Now you do need to still blend them so if you use a foundation brush, there's still got a little bit of foundation on. That's a really nice way of blending them in because you can take all the edges off. If you've gone too intense, you can go over the top. You could also use something like a kabuki if you wanted to really kind of use, you could apply them with this as well just to really buff them in so you don't get any edges. Or 
or something like you know a normal kind of brush that would you, you would use to apply blusher just be very kind of careful um, that you're blending all of those edges because if you're using a cream blush you really want it to look like you're blushing from within so have that lovely kind of hue that color sort of coming through the skin so they look really really natural you can also mix them with highlighter sometimes when i put them on with fingers i'll go back over the top with a blush with a sorry foundation brush but add a little bit of highlighter on and just kind of only a tiny bit but just kind of blend them in with that which gives them a little bit more of a sheen if you want to add a, a touch of shimmer but once they're on what's great about cream blush if you apply them nice and thin blend them well you can always build the color better to put too little on and build up but once they're on and they're well blended then you can do your concealing or your highlighting or your pat and then your powdering and they really do last because they're very much kind of become part of your skin makeup and for that reason and the fact that they look so natural I really love them so I hope you found that helpful they're just four of the ones I have in my kit I've chosen the ones which are more wi widely available because I also have ones which I've picked up in weird kind of stage makeup shops around the world or ones that I've mixed myself which I think um obviously won't help be very helpful if I show you those because they're not possible to get but I think these um, four brands are quite easy to kind of come by and I can vouch for all of them I think they're all really really good products so hope that was helpful and I'll see you soon